Hi DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to enroll a Z-Wave lock or Z-Wave Plus lock into your Qolsys IQ Panel 2 or your Qolsys IQ Panel 2 Plus. Uh, so to start off, before you enroll any devices, it's always just a good practice to always clear the device first. Now every device has different ways of clearing it or enrolling it, right? Um, some devices, which you'll see today, you actually have to go through a couple of menu buttons and enable uh, the setting in there, or some other devices may just have a single, a single button that you just press down and that'll be the enroll button. Today I'll be showing you a little bit of both. Um, so the first thing we wanna go ahead and do is we have to get into the installer or dealer menu on your IQ Panel 2 or your IQ Panel 2 Plus. That requires your installer or dealer code. Now, if you brought the panel, if you bought the panel brand new, your installer code should be defaulted at 1111. Your dealer code should be defaulted at 2222. All right. Um, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do, like I said, we're going to get into those menus. So we're going to hit the little button at the very top. We're going to go to settings. After we go to settings, we need to go to advanced settings. Enter user code. From here, it's going to ask you to enter in your code. Like I said, you need the installer or the dealer code. If you enter in the code that you normally arm and disarm with, that probably might not be it. And if you're not taken to this screen, so I'm going to use my installer code, 1111. If you're not taken to a screen that has these this installation button on there, you are not using the correct code. If you use a master code, which is the normal code that you use to arm and disarm with, you'll actually see something that says master settings. And if you see that on your screen, you're not in the correct field or you're not using the correct code. So make sure you use your installer code or your dealer code. If you don't know them, the default one is 1111. The default dealer code is 2222. You're, if you're already being monitored, your company may have changed them. So you want to make sure you get those codes from them, especially if this is your system. All right. So after we're in the installer menu, we're going to go to installation because we're installing devices. We're going to go to devices. And from here, we're not doing security sensors, we're not doing Wi-Fi devices or Bluetooth devices, we're doing a Z-Wave device. So from Z-Wave device, after we're here, we need to first, again, just good practice is always to clear, no matter what you're learning in. Today we're doing locks, but if you're using thermostats, uh, water valves, light bulbs, switches, um, anything that's Z-Wave, garage door controllers, it's always good to just clear it first so that it kind of clears the memory on the device itself. Now, once we hit clear device, the panel is going to go into a, uh, a mode where it's listening for a transmission from a Z-Wave device, and then it's going to clear that. Basically, it's going to reset the settings in that device, yes? So we're going to go ahead and hit clear device. The panel goes into a listening mode. Now, for these Schlage locks, you normally would just press and hold or press and release the actual Schlage button, and you would see the light come up. Uh, for the Yale lock, this one is actually a little bit different and you always want to look at the installer menu or the installer or the programming guide for each one. This one actually requires me to enter in a code. Time expired. Time expired. I need to enter in one, two, three, four settings. Menu mode. Seven settings. Join the web. One. Completed. After I enter in the commands on the Z-Wave lock, I basically... Again, every lock is going to be different. This one actually requires me to go through a couple of menu settings, which is why I have to do that. Now, I basically put the panel into an enroll mode, so it's sent on the transmission. The panel picked up on it. It said device is clear from the network successfully. Now I know that I've reset my Z-Wave device. So I'm just going to hit OK. And now I'm ready to go ahead and now enroll it. So I'm going to hit Add Device now. And I'm going to hit Include. The system is going to go into a listening mode. And I'm going to do the same steps on my Yale lock. I'm going to hit one, two, three, four settings, Menu mode. seven wireless. settings, Join the wireless network. and one. Join. It's going to send out a transmission. Completed. It says completed. The panel, you see it's picked up on it. It said it discovered device three. The type was a door lock. And now it's just waiting to retrieve the configuration of the door lock. And uh, once this is done, it'll come up with my lock on there. And then you can name it whatever you like. It's, it should come up automatically as a front door lock, but you can name it back door, side door, bedroom door, whatever, wherever you guys are being, wherever you guys are locating the lock, just feel free to edit the name. 
Uh, so you see ID number three, trip type is door lock, front door. I can give them a custom name. I'll name it video lock. Check mark, add. It's adding the device. The system says that the, the device has been added to the network successfully. And if I wanted to go ahead and learn in one of these, I would hit include. And I would also learn these in. Obviously, every lock again is different. Just like any security sensor you guys are adding in, every device is going to have a different enrollment mode or um, transmission mode. So you guys want to make sure you're looking at the installation manual or you're either speaking to your company. Let them know the model of the device that you have. And, you know, it's as easy as just going into Google and typing in the model and programming guide. And you can easily pull up the menu and you can see what it says. All right, so I'm just gonna show you guys just one here. I'm gonna hit the home button. After I hit the home button, now when I start scrolling through my screens here, you're gonna start seeing, I passed it, you're gonna see the door lock. Right now, if you look at my, pan if you look at my lock, it is currently locked, which is exactly what matches on the panel. I'm gonna go ahead and hit unlock. The, it's gonna go ahead and unlock my door. And now, in a second here, it'll actually refresh on the panel as well, saying that my lock Video is unlocked. unlocked. Video lock unlocked, it said. I can also lock it. Enable sends the command through. Video now, if you guys are being monitored and you guys have access to the alarm.com application, you'll also be able to control your Z-Wave locks from the app. You can set up scenes. You can send codes from your panel down to the z-wave lock you can make it to where if you enter in the code at your z-wave lock not only does it unlock your door but it also disarms your system so there's a lot of different things that you guys can do with these z-wave locks a lot of different scenes you guys can set up they're very convenient and they're a very great addition to your home security ecosystem if you guys have any questions about getting this set up if you have an iq2 plus or an iq2 and you need to get monitored we also do monitoring send us an email to support at alarmgear.com if you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit the little bell icon so whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.